political discourse should it's no good. The people just seem to be yelling past each other. Yeah, it was very horrible. Yeah, I feel like nervous walking through this huge uh, group of Trump supporters. I'm witnessing the yelling on both sides here, yeah. so you can see where they may feel nervous too. Yeah, I can see that. What were you saying to the lady who just came by? That she's a fascist because she wants. Wait, the lady who came by is a fascist. Yes. How do you know she's a fascist? Because she's trying to silence us, and when people are trying Wait, to. Be I did silenced. not see her trying to silence you. There was just a bunch of yelling back and forth. There wasn't a lot of silence. There was no silence. Do you ever feel that there's just too much shouting in the streets? People just yes. egging each other on. Yes. And people I are just, just engaging in it too much. Yes. And Which I just do that. did. So, like I said, I'm the director of communication. I work in communication. So obviously I love the media, I love the news. I don't really watch the news, I watch, I get all my like updates through Twitter. Wait a minute, might that be part of the problem? Uh, I don't know, I think that Twitter we get the crunch of it and it, in news it's just kind of long and drawn out and we just want the updates as quick as we can. You don't want the long drawn out boring stuff, you just want Not the emotional me. stuff. Yeah. I if the Lincoln-Douglas debates played out today, who would win? <laughs> That's a good one. Douglas. <laughs> Douglas would win? Why would Douglas beat Lincoln? You're talking about housing, clean water, street paved streets. Yeah. I don't think they were paving streets back then. What would you say to someone who's given lots of money to propel Chuck Schumer's political interests? Money talks and BS walks. To those who oppose Republican and orthodoxy on trade. My opinion for those who oppose the Republican orthodoxy on trade, you had eight years and all Obama did was take us down. What about those who continue to spend us in a path to going broke? The ones that continue to do that are the Democrats. Wait a minute, didn't didn't President Trump give Schumer a lot of money and didn't he oppose Republican orthodoxy on trade and isn't he signing off on the budgets that are taking us a path to Greece? I believe so. I think people just have to stop and listen. We're not doing that. And how do we everybody's getting upset and then you feel like your voice isn't heard, so you have to respond in the same way to get your voice heard. How can we fix that? Um, um, I'm not sure I have the answer to that. Well, in the coming weeks, we will continue to give this problem the time and attention that it deserves and look for ways to work toward solutions that all come down to money, power, and politics.